right, this skill is determining whether a shape can be tessellated. The best way to approach these problems is to actually draw out the shape and see if you can tessellate it. So attempt to tessellate it, okay? We can do that with the very first option here. So option number one, answer choice one. All right, if we look at this shape, it looks like a, it looks like kind of like a mountain. Okay, is it possible to draw another one of these shapes and test like this to make a pattern with no gaps? No, absolutely not. If you want to try by adding more of these shapes, you would not be able to fit them in perfectly. Okay, how about number two? We got like a little hexagon here. So for this hexagon, if we were to continue drawing hexagons, you can see that in fact, this shape can be tessellated. Okay, we can continue drawing hexagons and tessellate this shape. So yes, number two, you can be tessellated. All right, how about squares? So squares, well, squares are pretty simple, right? You see these everywhere. These look like uh, bricks, logged up. And this can be definitely tessellated. There are no gaps in between the shapes. So number three, you can be tessellated. And then lastly, number four. Hmm, this guy. Well, we'll try to draw another one. And let's see, let's see what happens. Can we tessellate this? I don't think so. Can we add another shape down here? No, we cannot. Okay, so this cannot be tessellated. Number four, you can't be tessellated. Two and three are your answers.